What's going on guys? My name is Dan Solner. I'm the producer and director of the docu-series tentatively entitled Music Heals. I'm sitting here with my friend and co-producer Jody Joseph Bon Jovi. And uh, Jody, why don't you tell me a little bit about the process of this docu-series before you found me? Well, uh, I was approached about a year ago about doing a reality series on what I do. And that it just the thought of another reality show was like, we really don't need that. Um, but I also uh, thought there was a lot of integrity behind the thought of what happens with music and how it heals. And that's what I'd like to bring out, is how many times I've seen over the years that from the littlest guy to the older person, senior person, uh, going through whether it be divorce or bullying or uh, depression, whatever it is, that I've always used the music to channel them to heal. I came over with kind of this impression of, okay, we'll see what this woman has, but you know, I don't expect it to go anywhere. And I remember that first night when I was here, I, I was planning on staying maybe an hour. And then quickly I was just caught in the mix of everything going on here. Right. And I was here, I think, three or <laughs> three or four hours. I think that that's the hook. Mm -hmm. That when one left, another one came in just as interesting, uh, if not uh, just a whole nother angle. You start to fall in love with them yourself because uh, their lives and their personalities are all so different and diverse. And some of them have some amazing stories to tell. And I thought that that would speak volumes, and it did, because I mm -hmm. saw through your eyes. I mean, I see it every day. And when you brought the guys in, they were like, whoa. And, and you were only through like one and a half days. Yeah. I do this six days a week, so. I think that there's a lot of negativeness attached to music in general at times because of how we are always thinking about making it. And one of the things that I think this opportunity gives them is a moment to actually have on the camera and be filmed and be a part of something that gives them a whole nother side to this that, that they don't have to make it make it yet. If this, God willing, gets picked up, then it's gonna give them a bigger exposure in a really wonderful user-friendly environment for them. <laughs> you know, it's not something we're trying to make them look bad or embarrass them. I think that's a positive message for them. And even if nothing ever was to happen with it, just that we finished a couple of shows, mm -hmm. I think that, that that in itself is gonna be something they can have for the rest of their lives. I think the key is it, it makes me happy. You know, I think when we were telling some of them that they were getting in, so on and so forth, um, the, the look on their faces, you know, it was like, this is the greatest thing that ever happened. Once again, you're seeing it yourself. Mm -hmm. You're seeing how this is giving them hope in themselves and it gives them a boost of confidence and that's music healing all over you. Why did I let you do these things to me? Let me close just to watch me leave. Going back years ago, I wasn't a teacher um, and I could sing. So I had one gal who kept bugging me to teach her what I knew and I'm like, well, you gotta drive from Flemington all the way down to Titton Falls. And she did. And I started teaching her and then she brought another friend and, that, and so on and so on. And I'm like, wow, this is like working. And what I began to do was to teach every single person what I know and what I do. At this point, just seeing them develop and grow and that I had a little tiny bit in that process that I was that one spoke in that wheel is amazing. Well, as we discussed, that we need to be able to show the networks that this formula works. 
that we can go into another show and another show and that there's so much material. I mean, mm. that's probably your biggest problem is that we have so much material. If we get the funding, we can make it just the way we want and that really, really heartfelt mm -hmm. music heals message. But I think the funding is something that gets everyone involved. When people donate, they're donating to a really good cause because it's coming from the heart. You know, if, if people are donating now, we're, we're raising money because they believe in this and they love the message. And I think that's, that's what it's about. Being a part of something positive, you know, throwing a hundred dollars because you believe in this message.